What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Laura Lee in the Hi. building. Hey girl, hey. hey. <laughs> Okay, so today, what, are we, what the hell are we getting ourselves okay. into? Girl, today we have something new, fresh, it's gone viral somewhat. My pap smear results. <laughs> exactly, we're reviewing them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. I know, we really are, but that's why they're here, yep, obviously. Yep, that's right. Sorry you guys, we have the giggles because we just, we're obsessed with highlighting. <laughs> if you didn't know, me and Laura have reviewed so many highlighters last year, like what, every Yes, every, every, every fucking highlighter. Every highlighter. We went in. We went in. So, pull up the picture. So, this meme and this product has been going viral all over Instagram, all over Pinterest. I've seen it everywhere. And basically, we saw what? It's like a little oil bottle. Yep. It's like a little bottle called a unicorn oil. It looks pink and it's supposed to give you like this pink beautiful highlight just showing the picture that yes. advertise, now, been advertising it. This picture has been going viral everywhere, so I don't know if it's from the company. Right. If someone made it. We really couldn't research it mm -mm. and so the brand is called glow cult cosmetics and today we have some products to review Ooh. and we're gonna do a little ching, a little uh first impressions so we have all three of the illuminating glow elixir, elixir. i love that and then word. we have the do me the do me oh i mean i could do you we, could, we gotta ask our husband's permission Hi. yes i'm not married no wedding ring yet Okay, so this is the Rose Water Priming and Setting, Setting Mist, Mist with, I guess, glitter in it, allegedly. So, we were looking up this brand on Instagram, mm -hmm. Glow Cult Cosmetics. There's no Instagram account for it. It's gone. Yeah, it's like it's blocked or gone like, forever. People have tagged them before in the past, mm -hmm. and then the Instagram is gone. So, I don't know why. That's kind of weird. It's so weird. But, they do have a website, and that's where I bought these products from. Mm -hmm. So, a little info about this product, you guys. Um, it was a little weird, though, because there was no... No logo or any branding on the bottle. Like the website's not on the bottle, so I was even trying to look up the website and I couldn't find it anywhere. And when it came in the package, it didn't come in a unit carton, so there was no branding info, there was no ingredient list. So it's just like sitting in there, yeah, no ingredient list. Yeah. So. Now there is ingredients on the website, thank God, because I was getting a little iffy. Like, I'm about to put this on my face. What is in oh. here? It's a little crazy. So these are it. Basically, the pro once you get it, you guys, the product is like sitting at the bottom, if we can show yeah, that off. Yeah, I was a little bit shook because of the, what it looks like on the website. And yes. you get like a clear on the website it is like blinding glitter in a bottle and then um, this is it at the bottom so you have to shake these up which it says on the site so that's not like a negative for me mm -mm. but I was at first I was like what the hell yeah. is going on here my girl did I get a bad one exactly so <laughs> so basically you're supposed to shake these really well which we'll just shake them all We'll let them Show sit for a guys. second. Yeah. So this product says that it is a glistening moisturizer, perfect for use on bare skin. Okay, okay. we well, have foundation on. Yep. But it also says it adds an illuminating effect to your foundation. So if you add it in, so you oh like kind of like a cover foundation. effects thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then you can't put it on top of makeup, I guess. But there's people saying they've used like a balm highlighter and then they mm -hmm. put it over. Over the balm highlighter. But oil oh. over balm. No, that's a little weird for me. That's strange. So it says that this illuminating pigment oil adds the perfect amount of glow and warmth to your face while lightly moisturizing at the same time. So it's $27, which for an indie brand, I was like. And it's so, I mean, it's just small. It's small. So you this know? is 1.5 fluid ounces. That's a little small. Yeah. The ingredients coconut oil, mica powder, and vitamin E. Okay, so these are all handmade in Los Angeles. Oh, I didn't um, know that. Yeah, and it did take like 10 days to get here. I was like, yeah. oh my lord. Uh-huh, my, <laughs> I, I ordered one too. It's like uh -huh. sitting at the house, same, same. Oh, cool, yeah, okay. Same. Um, there's one thing I wanna call out. I do have oil all over my hands. When you open the package, they had already like, almost like leaked a little bit. I mean, yeah. that's how Yeah, like it's outside of the little sponge. It's like covered wet. in oil. It is definitely like that. And, and these are screwed on tight. They are, so I don't know why that happened. A mm -hmm. little weird. Um, it's a little weird that there's no ingredients on the bottle, of course. And the no, like, website or brand, brand name, of the company. Nothing. So, uh, you might want to put that on there, everybody. So, I guess we can try this. I want to, first, we can try on our hands first. Yes, uh, for sure. For safety. <laughs> for safety. I want to see if they're actually glowing and amazing because the pictures we've seen, you guys, have been a little blinding. Yeah, they've been insane, and I think that's and I think it's like all over Pinterest, all over Google, like everywhere. Google it, just like but those pictures. if it's oil and the website says you really can't put it on your face after a full look, yeah. Why did that picture look so blinding? Yeah, that's the problem. The 
the pictures she obviously has on makeup so how I know so I don't know if, I don't know that. if a fan of the brand made that or yeah. the brand itself made it but I'm the like, brand may have not made that picture but yes we can't figure it we'll out we'll see what happens mm -hmm. okay so what do you want you want to try the pink one the glitter one I'll try glitter let's both try it I mean, okay let's perfect try them all. yes all right so we, really good it's shape. shaken up yeah here she is give me a drop okay, please let me give you a little drop uh-huh oh Okay, it looks glittery on here. It looks just like oil and sparkles. Here, put some on your hand too. Yes. We'll do it at the same damn time. So we're gonna try to show this off. Oh, it's dripping. Yes. Oh, it's dripping. Very liquidy. Okay, we're taking our bare fingers and let me rub in. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, so this is grease and that's all that this is. It's like... Oh just, my God, there's like really no There's sparkle. not much sparkle at all. It's just like wet. Like I would freak out if this was all over my face. Honestly, just honestly. Whoa, it feels really wet. Wait, turn on the flash on your phone. Okay. Is there glitter or not? Like for real? Because right now there's like a It just looks like the warmth off your light. You know what I mean? Okay, let's hold it this way. Yeah. No. It looks wet. It, it just, just looks like I dumped my hand in baby oil almost. Uh -huh. I'm like rubbing it on my knuckles and my whole hand. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh yeah, so you have so it's easier to tell on her, you guys, because I have full tattoos. A full tiger. A full tiger, but let's look on your hand. It's like barely like my I mean I'm I'm obviously really close to her hand, so I can see a tiny bit of shimmer, but mm -mm, it dispersed the glitter into almost nothing, and this is heavy, guys. Like there's no way. Coconut this is, oil is heavy. This is clogging pores right here. Whoa. Oh, it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like nothing. nothing. Like absolutely nothing. Interesting. It's kind of weird if it's vitamin E and coconut oil. Yeah. It doesn't really smell like anything. Okay, let's wipe okay. it off. We'll try the next one. Ooh. So the glitter one, I don't know right now. Yeah, that, that one's a little, a little greasy, a little heavy. Hopefully these have a little bit of pigment too and we can really see like some pink and some holographic looking like, stuff. It still looks wet. It hasn't dried. Before I wipe it off, let's do a little like two minute mm -hmm. moment and see if it dries. Let's see if it in. Perfect. All right, we'll be right back. Oh, okay, so it's been five minutes. Five minutes. We've chatted for a minute, we've yeah. gossiped. She got through the gram. It's wet. It's the same. It's still wet. This is so crazy. Yes. So we were just sitting here talking about like the ingredients where it said coconut oil. When I take off my makeup, I've been- A lot of people use coconut oil. A lot of people use coconut oil. They use it after their makeup's off to like moisturize under their eyes. Yep. Um, so what did you say you want to do? So I want to put a little bit of foundation on my hand because it says on the website you can mix it in with your foundation to yeah. get like a luminosity, lumini glow. Okay. So I want to mix it in and see what happens with the oil in the foundation. Okay, amazing. Oh, you're using the La Mer. Ah! Okay. This is my foundation. I'm like, let me pump eight pumps out. You, you couldn't have used a, you know, a drugstore foundation? <laughs> no. Only La Mer will tell okay, the great. truth. All right, well, Laura Lee's going in with... Oh, yeah, uh, that's actually good. Okay. <laughs> No, it's one of my favorites. Okay, so here's okay. the dropper. Mm -hmm. Let's shake it so we're keeping it really do, real. Do the honors. All right, so here we go. One, two, how yeah. do you, or more? Oh, two, but it's like it's breaking up in the middle Whoa. of the foundation. Whoa, okay, try to, okay, so let's take the back of a brush. All right, get in there. Oh, oh wow. Okay, that just turned this beautiful La Mer into a little Oli. Whoa. By the way, guys, I say old oh, weird wrong because I'm from Alabama. Mm, I can't hi. Help it. If you've I never seen it. our previous Rolls Royce Get Ready video, yep. go check it out. It's gonna be linked down below. Ah! Okay, anyway, come on, free promo. Ah! I'm promoting. I'm promoting myself on my own channel. So if you put this on your face, would it dry? I got need to know. I'm gonna do this. Okay. I mean, I'm not doing anything Woo! else tonight, but girl. Okay, she's going in. I don't want to mess up when your brushes. I oh, you can. No, 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 no. Here, girl. We have so many brushes. Use this. This yes. is a Sisley brush. He gives me the most expensive <laughs> fucking brush. <laughs> Blend. Oh, it already looks like grease on my face. Does it? I'm screaming. Here, zoom in. Yes. Zoom in. I'm screaming a little bit. Oh, it's wet. It's almost like um, like when you're brushing on, I can see the brush hairs it's on your so face. It's almost streaky. Yeah, it's streaky. No, huh. that looks wet and shiny. Would it dry though? Like We're going to find out. I'm my harsh. hand's still wet, I'm by the way. literally so harsh. I'm like, no, it looks so gross. Um, oh, it does. I was ready to make a um, dirty diaper <laughs> joke, and then my brain froze in fear, actually. <laughs> So this has been about what? We've been talking for another five minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. My hand's wet. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that. Just like on my face, like the wet, so. Oh no, um, it feels like baby oil. Touch my hand. That's almost, oh. Okay. I'm gonna wipe this off now. Cause it, uh, I'm like, uh-uh, girl. girl no, Don't your play me, bitch. Hi. Okay, now the one that's been going viral online, let's try this one yes. and see if there's any difference. Okay, how does your foundation feel? Um, so if you can tell, it just feels sticky. Okay, so from looking at her from the side of you guys, 
it looks shiny right here, and then it's completely matte where your bronzer contour is. Oh, so. It looks a little like damp. Yeah, you see the shine when you yeah. like, turn your head? Come on, Vanna White. <laughs> yeah, it looks shiny. Uh huh. Huh. Well, I don't want a shiny face. No. I like dewy. I just would never put like oil or oil in. <laughs> <laughs> I've right, never put oil, like oil. Oh, in my okay, foundation. Okay, now here, let's shake up this one. Okay, let's give it a good. So let's go on the website. This is, oh my God, my finger is like glued. Like, so this is the Iridescent Rose Highlighter. It does say glistening moisturizer. It's glistening on anything we're doing, so it's kind of doing what it says on here. Yeah. But I just didn't know glistening was like wet looking. Yeah, and not only that, um, I don't know, like, I don't know if I would want, just, it's, it's heavy. And I don't know if I would put that all over my face, like, as a moisturizer. Yes, the product is heavy, not the glass. Yes, it's just the product. <laughs> Let me mix a little bit of foundation, and then you try just to buy itself on your hand, maybe. Okay, perfect, yep. Let's see what happens, guys, right? Let's take a little drugstore, um... Giorgio Armani. Luminous Silk. Yes. Just kidding, this is my favorite, honestly. All right, I'm gonna do two. Oh. Do you see how it just slices through Whoa. the foundation? Whoa, uh, let me try to show it without dripping everywhere. I'm just gonna use the brush. Mm -hmm. I mean, luminous silk is already luminousy. Like, is luminousy a word? I just made it one. Mm -hmm. Now Whoa. it is. Whoa. I'm done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. I'm like so quiet because I really don't know. It's yeah, not awful. No. This one looks less wet than the glitter than one. This. Yeah, actually. So maybe this one's a little bit less, like, has that greasy feel to it. Maybe it's the glitter. No, the glitter would not make it oily. No. Okay, so the pinkish, so the iridescent rose isn't that bad. I mean, for mixing, but I still don't see a, a glow or anything. Do you? Um, oh my god, that's literally just oil. It's literally just oil in a bottle. What it looks like in here does not translate on the hand. Holy shit. That it's just clear. It's just clear. It's clear baby oil. Well, that's what it looks like. It's a twenty-seven dollar bottle of clear baby oil. Whoa. And my, that's my no, I know, but that's my first impression. That's my first impression. Same ingredients on this one as the okay. last one. So no different ingredients, like. And there's, there's no. Do you see any luminosity or any glittery no. feeling or nothing? Right, mm -hmm. it looks flat. Mm -hmm. So I mixed it with the mm -hmm. foundation, like it says. There's right. no glow. No, like the girl on the picture just seems so pink and frosted. Mm. This is just like clear. There's no frost. There's, There's no, frost. no pigment. You know, there's not an actual pigment in this exactly. <gasps> so. I guess the final test of time will oh. be their version of a setting spray. You better not Let's be give doing that a whirl. tonight, Let's girl. Let's give that a whirl. Girl. All right, so now we are about to try the Do Me Rosewater Priming and Setting Spray. Let's see, I wanna see, I'm kinda nervous. Okay. Jeffrey just shook it up. It looks cool in there. It's almost like a lava lamp. It looks really dope. So now this is $27 as well. Ooh. Good lord. Now that packaging, it's cheap. Yeah, it's this a is a dollar at the dollar store a little. Thank you. Okay, so this is for anyone that is dry, normal, okay. or combination. So, so that's everybody. any kind of skin type, basically. Okay, so this is for illuminating and refreshing the skin. Okay. It is a conditioning setting spray. This okay. beautiful and balancing mist with rose water extracts and botanicals to help hydrate, restore, and soften the skin while giving you a gorgeous glow. Shake well before use. Okay, you did that. It's vegan, it's cruelty-free, which is awesome. Okay. Now, it's supposed to cure dryness, dullness, and uneven skin tone. Which, how do you fix uneven skin tone? Especially with a rose spray. Like with a full just, coverage foundation, yeah. what the hell you do? <laughs> so, ingredients, rose water, Witch Hazel, Aloe Vera, and Natural Mica. So for those of you who don't know what Mica is, it is basically like glitter pigment. Like if you see pigments or anything like that, there is Mica in them. So natural, I don't really know what they mean by natural. Right. Like, like skincare, I mean, it's weird to mix like a glitter with rose water. So we're gonna give it a whirl. I kinda want you to spray my yeah, hand. Yeah, for sure. And just see if there's any glow. Let me wipe off this foundation. I'm so nervous. Okay. Okay, hit How me. How far back, right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. What does it smell like to you? A little bit rosy. Okay. Okay. Um, is there any glitter? Your hand looks the same color. You can especially tell through the tiger because your skin's a little lighter right there. Mm -hmm. Is there any mica, it any glitter, any shine, shimmer? Nothing. What the actual fuck? Yeah, there's like nothing on my fingertips either. Now that it's dried. Let me hit your hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, that was a good one. It was just clear. It's just like clear rose water. 
I'm like shocked. I'm like, I where's the like, glitter? Look at it, and like you would see bronzer on my hand or the bronzer. How did they get it to look like this clear. in the bottle, but it know. but it sprays out like clear? Like that would be coming off, you know, my fingertips. Yeah. What the? F okay. All right. Well, I think it's time to give our final, final thoughts. thoughts. All right, you guys, to say that I'm disappointed, Laura, would be an understatement. I agree completely. I'm like... Right off the bat, when I started, when there was no website on the bottle and it was greasy, whenever you hadn't even opened it, I was a little turned off. It was, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Now, I know this is an indie brand from, I guess, you know, like the internet, from Instagram, mm -hmm. but it really fell flat for me. Like, I've used some dope indie brands on my channel. Literally, I have I've, found $5 lippy. I mean, yes. just amazing indie but brand stuff. I feel like this is literally $27, like, oil. Mm -hmm with no payoff there was no shimmer no glimmer no diva moment it just no, like baby oil it was yeah like there was no it looks cool in the bottle so if you want to like take a picture of it or, or like with it or something or hold it with your hand maybe like as like your best friend that's 27 dollars maybe you can put it in your in your like passenger seat in your car and you can do carpool with it you, can take you it paid the, for it you can take it to the movies <laughs> Something. You don't want to pour out in your <laughs> purse <laughs> and ruin about, your bag. I was about to say it might leak out on your on your purse, but um. Well, I will say this: it's cute to look at. Yes. But this was a big epic fail. This for, is a no. This is a no. So, is this Jeffree Star approved? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this Laura Lee approved? Hell no. No, little girl. <laughs> no. You got the wrong Honestly, one. Honestly, no. No, um, it's not okay. I was mad that we didn't get to really wear highlighter today. I, thought, I know we. Did. I thought we were gonna put this on our cheeks. Let's just make this video fun. Yeah, let's put on highlighter. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. <gasps> uh huh. I just. Mm -hmm. Well, now the video is fun. Look at my nose. It's just like. Oh. All right. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Also, we did a, another video on Laura's channel. What did we do? We tested, I was like, wait, what, <laughs> what the fuck did we do? I don't fucking know. Um, we tested a weird, very weird, world's weirdest foundation brushes. Go check that out on Laura's channel. Everything will be linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Laura's channel, girl. Bye. It's 2017, don't play us. <laughs> But um, everything will be linked down below, of course. So if you have any questions or concerns or comments about today, Let sound off. Let a girl know. Let a girl know. Yes. Sound off below. Final thoughts? It's a poop. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. All right, you guys. We love you. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Mwah. guys.